So, okay. Um, do you want to tell us about your work? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, mine is um, all about, I guess, the idea of memories and false memories and, like, memories that you try to hold on to. And I've never lost anyone in my life. Like, nobody in my family has ever really passed away that I was really close to. Like, my great-grandmother's still alive. And so, I don't know. And I think I've been kind of scared of that recently. And she still thinks very clearly, which I very clearly. But, I mean, just how scary would it be if you couldn't? You know, if you couldn't, like you have all these memories and that you can't like actually piece them together. And I think that's what I kind of want the viewer to, to feel. I don't know, almost like empathetic for, you know, like you've got, you have this memory or this idea about something and it's so close, but you can't quite grasp it. Like it's not clear. Because mm -hmm. memory, I don't know, is such a fragile thing anyway. And I've, I don't know why I've been so inter interested in it lately. And just the idea, you know, like family is this like kind of, construct that we make, but like why is it so important, and these memories that we hold on to. Lars Elling is a, a, an artist that Melissa had me look at, and I'm really influenced by him, but he almost kind of, he kind of does what I started out kind of doing, like taking these people and putting them in like, like different like scenarios. Um, that are kind of like weird and strange, but like you want to look at them forever. And I noticed like I kind of paint similar to him. So I think as far as like artistic influence, like that's... So no, so I took some random family's memories and... I guess it's kind of I feel like when I look at them, like I can make up stories about them, but I'll never really know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So what are we looking at right, right here? What is this? This is my 50 that I did. Um, and I literally took the photographs, some photographs that I that I bought online, which I kind of hate myself that I did that, but I didn't want to use my family, but like I couldn't find. So, and then I kind of, not really deconstructed them, but like I painted over them and it, it kind of flowed differently. Like at first I was doing like all this like geometric stuff and like putting them almost in little like cages, but not really. I mean, I don't think they look like cages. I just think they're like little cages almost. <laughs> And then it kind of went from that, so then I started painting flowers, because there are a lot of like small portraits, so I started painting like flowers over their faces, just actually like obscuring their portrait, you know, which mm -hmm. is, I mean, a face, that's the main part of a portrait, you don't get much idea about a person from their shoulders, like it's their, <laughs> it's their right. face you want to see. And then it kind of went from that, and then I, I found out that I could like take a marker and kind of paint in. Mm -hmm. the the backgrounds of them and I thought that gave a really cool look because it was still kind of like desaturated but it was like like you could kind of like feel more for the space mm -hmm. it feels like it doesn't like take over as much it just kind of blends in it just kind of blends in yeah and so I thought that was really cool and then I started doing which this is all like I don't know like I, like I said kind of an organic way of doing it and then I started really like literally painting over the figures for like the kind of look I guess I wanted, like that you can tell this is a child, but like it's it's hard to make out, it's kind of fuzzy to make mm -hmm. out. So that was that was my goal. That's what I really wanted to to do. Which I don't know, they kinda of make me sad to look at, but not entirely. I think just because like I was talking about earlier, like I've never lost anybody and my giggy is gonna be eighty nine this year. And I mean, I've been very fortunate to have, like, all my family, like, the entire 23 years I've been alive, but I don't know, but I guess it's kind of a celebration mm -hmm. of, of these people's lives, but they do make me a little sad, I think. Just knowing that mm -hmm. they're Dead. just a memory. <laughs> yeah, now. it's yeah. just a memory now, and, but I think that's just as important as as anything else a new memory can be. Very powerful. Because we remember what we want to remember. And I don't want these photos to be creepy. I think they could be creepy. And some of them kind of look creepy, but I don't want I don't want people to think of them like as weird. 
or scary. But old things don't bother me. Like old people don't scare me. Like the idea I don't know. I kind of like yeah. Doesn't really scare me that much. Like, who was it? Someone was talking about how, how scared they get of, like, old photos because they know those people have died. But it's just kind of more like a celebration of their life than it is, I like guess, a reminder of mm -hmm. their death. Because we're all going to die.